Good morning guys on day 83 Doing ado another double stage Why? Don't ask me I'm leaving town at 9.38 Pretty late for a double stage I'm doing 35 kilometers But I had to stop at the laundromat and dry my shoes because they were completely soaking wet I know, yesterday it rained so hard that everything got wet and I mean everything Today I was supposed to go to Vetrala and then to uh, to Sutri on the day after but I decided to do two stages I cannot go in that direction because it will be over 40 kilometers so there's an alternative route that goes by Lake Vico I had to go up but it will be about 35 kilometers so right now I'm heading to San Martino pretty late so I'm heading out right now Well, after walking on the road for about an hour or so, I made it to uh, San Martino around 11 o'clock, I believe. It is now 11.25, but I made a quick stop at a cafe. Got myself a, like a tuna sandwich and a coffee and some aqua frizzante. And uh, I'm pretty close to uh, the rim of the lake, so I can cross over. And I'm 21 kilometers away from my final destination today. It is an, uh, 4 hours and 20 minutes to get there. I had to go over the rim of the, I guess, what it used to be a volcano, down into the lake and then come out. Uh, today I have not walked on the Via Francigena, at least not on the official route, but you still see the signs, the little stickers along the way. So there's that. Give me a second here while I catch my breath. <laughs> the road from San Martino to the edge of uh, the rim of the lake was on a 10% incline. Uh, it was quite tough. I think uh, this is it, no more climbing. From here on out is down to the lake, past the little town that's there and then out. Started drizzling a little bit, got a little bit scared. I thought it was gonna start raining again, but it has stopped. One, two, three. It's been a day walking on the road as the Via Francigena is probably full of mud. It goes a different route, anyways. Lago di Vico, that's where I'm heading. Can't wait to see it. Feels like I'm walking in a cloud, and that is because I am. Check out the view, it's just like mist everywhere. The forest looks uh, very spooky, huh? It's not too bad. I guess it's a leftover pizza and a beer just by the lakeside. Extremely flat, 
very little waves. I mean, this place is just uh, magical. I could spend a day here. After walking for eight hours, I made it to Sutri at 4.40 p.m. and with the help of a few locals, I found the monastery where I thought I was gonna stay. But when I got there, they told me that they were not uh, letting pilgrims stay there today. So I head to uh, the center of town, the old historical center, went straight to the tourist office where I got myself a stamp. Then I booked uh, BNB on bookings.com I had to wait 10 minutes until the owners showed up, which was fine. I'm only two blocks away from the plaza, from the square. The place is just amazing. I mean, I have my own kitchen. I made myself uh, an espresso while I was there. And best of all, I have a washer. So my clothes right now are getting washed or clean. Then I decided to head out around 7 p.m. to get something to eat found this little uh, restaurant. They offer pilgrims uh, a 10% discount. Got myself some pasta and wine. It's been eating too much pasta if you ask me. It is right now 10.15 and I think it's, I'm ready to call it a night. Cannot believe that I'm three days away from Rome. I mean, come on, seriously? Uh, today it didn't rain like it did yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow it will be the same. Come on guys, I'm four days ahead of schedule. Should be getting to Rome on Wednesday. Gonna have plenty of time to explore the city. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>